and got a decent signal about two inches down. Looks like it's a penny. Pretty cool. Dang, guys, look at this necklace charm. That's nice. Baseball necklace charm. Very cool. About a foot away from that penny, we've got a shallow quarter. Right here. Had an iffy choppy signal about five inches down. Looks like it's just a zinc penny. Probably came in with a fill or something. That fill soil. So it's probably going to be early 1980s, like 1983 or something. Pretty cool. Got another coin. All right, so about an inch from the surface. Got another, another coin. Looks like a penny. 1971D. It's a copper penny too. That's good. Keep on hunting. Right, got another coin. About a centimeter under the surface. Looks like it's another penny. This one's a new penny. It's a shield penny. Very clean looking. 2017. It's only dropped a year ago, it looks like. Alright, so, about an inch down right here. Another penny. And this could possibly also be a coin spill as well. Because I got multiple numbers in this little area right here. So, I'm gonna cut the camera and see if there's anything else over here. Alright, so right about here. Very cool. It was barely under the ground too. Came with an 83 signal. Let's keep on hunting. Right, so about a centimeter down right here. Got a surface penny. 2018 it looks like. Pretty cool. I'll take it. Right, so about halfway towards the surface. Looks like I got a surface quarter. About an inch down. Looks like we have a copper penny. Pretty cool. 1972. Doesn't even look like it's been underground for that long. Very cool. Alright, about two, four inches down. Looks like I got myself a zinc and. Oops. Pretty cool. Alright, looks like we got a coin spill right here. Over here, so let's see what's over here. So, this one right here. Let's scratch that out of here. Grass is really thick over here, that was the problem. Just under the grassroots. It's kind of annoying. Uh. Here it is, it's a penny. So we got one coin so far. Let's see what else there is. Oh. Something right here as well. Oh, it looks like a dime. Another coin. Maybe that's it. Who knows? So far we got a diamond penny. Right, so that was it for that little spill. Just looks like it was a little bit of a pocket spill. We got a diamond penny. It's pretty good though. Can keep on piling in the coin. I'm starting to hit a lower loaded area over here. Getting a lot of point targets within a short distance. Very cool. We got a new quarter. So the next target was a nice copper penny, 1979D. About six inches down. Very cool. Alright, about five pennies later, I finally got something other than a penny. It looks like a dime, about four inches down. It's getting really windy out and very cloudy. It might rain. And I might have to leave again. <laughs> 
Anyways, I'll get as many targets out of here as I can before I leave. So, if I do get any more targets, I'll see you guys in the next one. Another minute and another signal. It looks like it's a dime. It was a very choppy signal because the dime was on edge. It looks like it's a 1980s dime, as most of the coins are, or 90s. Because this is an 80s or 90s park. So, let's see what else we can find. Right, so, I got another signal about 6 inches down about 81 signal and looks like I got a side to an old toy car it's pretty cool Let's see what else I can find well guys this is a first for me I had a surface target bringing up as a quarter at about an 87 88 signal but then when I used the pinpointer and uncovered the grass it's actually my first dollar coin found metal detecting Wow, very cool. So we're getting into the big bucks now. Awesome. This is my first one ever. Found metal detecting. Very cool. Awesome, let's keep on hunting. Another signal. Looks like another copper penny. Copper pennies always ring higher than the zinc pennies, so you can tell when they're copper pennies when metal detecting. Like, for example, the zinc pennies always ring 81 on my detector or below and uh, the copper pennies always ring 83 so it's one way to tell that there's zinc and copper when you're metal detecting let's see what else we can find though because we've been doing really right, good so about four inches down i pulled out a nail and a 1969 penny in the same hole very cool so let's keep on looking a bunch of pennies I got this strange object out of the ground. It rung up a 74. No idea what it is. It's a kid head. <laughs> Looks like it was once attached to something. That's interesting. Let's keep on a signal about three inches down. Looks like it's done. Got lots of sand on it though. Here we go. Pop it right off. 1998. It's about the age of this park, so that sounds about right. Pretty cool. All right, to the next target. Five inches down in this hole. Got another copper penny. 1982. Very cool. About an inch down. Looks like it's a dime. Still shiny. Very cool. Here's an Illinois pin right here. Very cool. Yay, another quarter. Woo! What is it? 1993. Woo! Another signal about three inches down. Looks like I found a dime. More moolah. Let's go. Let's keep on hunting. Looks like I accidentally got this penny with the shovel. Ouch. Yay, I got a nickel about an inch down. It's kind of hard to find nickels. Usually, out of every 12 coins, you'll probably find one nickel. Sometimes even more uh, uncommon than that, though. Pretty cool, though. Take a nickel. Another quarter. Let's keep this up. I'm really right in the change now. Probably found like 60 coins or something insane like that. Very cool. Five inches down, some gravel and clay. And got a very old looking penny that's been down there a while. Probably from the early 70s or early 60s. It's much older looking than the other ones. Uh, yes, another quarter. So over here I got a spill with seven pennies in it, and right here I also got a quarter. Very cool. Nice. Keep on hunting. And there's a penny in with the quarter. And there's a diamond with that uh, one quarter and eight pennies. And the point of the ball, so that was an 11 coin coin spill. Not too shabby. got a random pin right here this is part of the pin right there it says it's from Cedar Rapids Iowa Wow I'm getting a bunch of random stuff around this little tree right here here's a nice matchbox vehicle got it about six inches down very cool Ooh. looks like a Chuck E. Cheese token maybe probably sweet just got a ring looks like sterling possibly 
came up as a 30s and jumped up to the 80s. It's very bent up and it looks like a kid's ring. Awesome.